Welcome to WP Met once again. Here in this video, we are going to be learning about Elements Kit or Mini Card Widget. In order to see the demonstration, you need to go Elements Kit landing page after that Elements demo. From here, you'll find U Mini Card. Click there and it will take you to the landing page. If you scroll down, you'll find the Mini Card. Now in this area, focus on this pricing point. If you hover on it, you'll find the product added to the cart. From here, you can remove any product and you can also add the product. For example, there you can see a list of products. If you click add to cart button, on that time that product will be added to the cart. You can add multiple product. There you can see you have true product and the total price. And if you hover, you'll find the individual products. Now let me show you how you can use this one. Open any page with Elementor Page Builder. After that, you'll find Elements Kit icon. Click on the icon, then go to Widget Presets. And from the left side, scroll down. There you'll find Umini Card. Click here, open the demo, and you'll find the Insert button. Now click on the Insert button. After that, the demo will be inserted into your website. Now let's see in Live Preview. Let's add an item and there you'll find we have 4 items and the total price. From here you can also go to the checkout page. But let me show you some of the settings and how you can modify this one. Hover on the mini card, then click on this little icon and you'll find all the settings. From here you can select any icon, card visibility and alignment. If you select click, on that time the card will show on click. And if you select hover, on that time the card will show on hover. Then you have the alignment. Let's select the center alignment. After that, if you go to style, you can control the most of the things, like the padding, icon size, typography, and lots of other areas. Now at this point of the video, I want to use the card from the scratch. So let's remove this one. From the widget panel, search mini. And there you'll find U Mini Card by Elements Kit. Drag and drop on your page. After that, you'll find the card and the settings. You can select the icon, alignment, and the visibility. I want to show it on hover, and alignment is center. Then, if you go to style, there you can control the padding, font size, and typography. Now, click on the widget, go to advanced. And let me show you a background color. From here, let's select the red background. And from style, I want to use padding. From top, I want to give 40 pixel. From the bottom, I want to apply 40 pixel. After that, you can work with the typography. Let's increase the icon size. After that you'll have the text shadow and border radius. Now from the color, you can select any color you want. Then you have the body tab. If you open it, you'll find the width, padding, margin and background color. If you hover in it, you'll find the available product added to the cart. So this is your body area. You can work with the padding, margin and background color here. Let's change the background color. After that, you have the header area which is this one. You can see one items and a view card. This is your header area. Then you have the item where you can work with the individual items. If you increase the border width in the item, you can see the border width has increased. Then you have the title color and the quantity color. Let's add the title color white and there you can see the title color is white. After that, you have width height for the image and border radius. You can also work with the padding, margin, box shadow, color, background color and border type. Now if you go to the subtotal, in here you can work with the subtotal typography, color and the price. Let's change the price color to green. There you can see the price color is green now. If you go to the button, from here you can work with the checkout button. I want to increase the checkout button font size. From here, let's increase this to 35 pixel. And there you can see it's now 35 pixel. 
Let's change the background color on hover. So this was all about the settings of the Minicut widget. If you want to know more about WooCommerce related widget, please check out the description. Thank you for watching this video.